Question two. Right, here we go. The key to this here. We've got our diagram at the top here of y equals cos x. Now there's a pretty big clue. We need to find out, looking at this here, it says it's only got one root. Well, the easiest thing to do is, as we've got cos x already drawn, add 2x, add half to both sides. So we get 2x plus a half. Remember, here, we're working in radians, right, which is just told us there. Another reason to be thinking about we're kind of just reading this correctly here. Um, right, what have we got? Well, we know that's zero. We know that's like, it's like 90 degrees, isn't it? It's pi over two, yeah? Okay, so if you just think about what this line is, just here. Well, when x is zero, that would give us zero. You could plug in a couple of different values. You could say when x is one, when x is one, it's about there. Remember this value here going across the top is just one. So that'd be two plus half. That's going to be two and a half. So when x is one, which is kind of about here, isn't it? So it's going to be up there somewhere. So as long as you can do, all you need to be able to show here is that that's just going to be a straight line going over. We can see that there's one solution. That would be enough. Part B. So let's have a look on part B. So part B says, given that the root of the equation is, is alpha and that alpha is small, use small angle approximations. So you should know that, and this is actually in the formula book, that when it is small, the approximation is 1 minus a half x squared. Obviously, it says that in terms of theta. So we can just replace cos x with that bit just there. So let's have a look and see what happens. So all we're going to do is we're just going to rewrite this, but put this in. So let's see what happens. So 1 minus a half x squared equals 2x plus a half. Don't know about you, I'm going to add, add half x squared to both sides, and I'll take away the 1. So that gives us half x squared, and then we're going to have plus 2x, half take away 1 is minus a half. Make life a little bit easier for yourself, multiply everything by 2. So that gives us x squared plus 4x minus 1 equals 0. And you just now need to solve that there. And we should get, you'll get two solutions. You'll get 0 0.236. And you'll also get minus 4.236. So reject this one. Just doing that from the diagram. There's our solution.